What's going on guys? I'm here to do a review on the uh, one six scale dark ruler, which is I guess aka Sauron figure. Um, and um, I try to put the, the light here, there it goes. So it's a huge figure. It's a 55 inch TV. Um, and it comes real, real nice. Come, came in a huge box. It came with uh, two, uh, I guess, posable hands. They were so easy to to uh, come apart and put it back. Oh, uh, the staff here, or whatever we want to call it, mallet or whatever. It's really not heavy, but it's plastic, and it's when I try to assemble here, uh, it is easily movable. Um, nice hard plastic nice and sturdy uh, these are actually a little heavier heavy weights of chains not bad um, everything else is the same back and forth uh, nice little belt I don't know what that is there it looks like a wire but I'm not gonna mess with it uh, Is it reposable? It has a ring there. Um, he does have these, uh, I guess, football type looking, uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, it, it's, <laughs> I can't really say. It's movable. You can move it back and forth, like you can see here, the ball joint right there. You can take it off and put it back. Let me see here. Put it back. Oh, it nice, uh, I guess, rubbery plastic on there, hard plastic. Every one is uh, bendable. Let's see if I can get a different pose here. I put them in a different pose. Um, and the fingers are also rubbery, I guess. Easily uh moved around and uh push um easily to push anything you want in has a nice texture of glove there um so the helmet once again real nice i'll do the back right now and once again the uh, hands are also easily uh fingers movable i guess this has nice paint job. I mean, nice little details, symbols on it. This is the other hand. It has a lot of different details on it. Um, let's look at the back. Let's see. All right, guys. Uh, the uh, back of the of the cape or the cape itself. Nice, I guess, fabric texture on there has a lot of little cuts and holes in the sides not bad has a nice feel texture on there nice knit here and like i said everything is uh easily bendable and it's a pretty big big uh, around 20 inches or so 21 inches with uh I guess the extra inch here of the helmet, of the, the spikes or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's nice in the back. For the amount that I paid, um, around two, I guess 220 to 230. It's not bad considering I'm a fan. Um, it does come with a, uh, with a huge box. Real nicely packaged. And it doesn't really have any eyes at all, it's just, just black. But uh, overall, I think, I mean, it doesn't have any paint peeling or or anything. I mean, this it does have details in the middle. 
everywhere on the chest area. This is the, probably the closest thing that you can find a Sauron. So, uh, pretty, pretty nice figure. Um, that is my review. Thank you so much.